And now, a first look at an all-new episode of Love After Lockup. I met Destiny on a prison pen pal site. She's gonna move in with me. Then, you know, we get married. Unbelievable. Does Destiny know you're close to Kelly? No. There are a couple of things that I haven't told Destiny. Saying transaction declined. The card was canceled. I can deal with anything but a liar. Who is that? Kelly. Why is she calling you? Destiny does not know that I talk to Kelly every single day. I'm leaving for a call and give me a plane ticket. I'm done. What's the I don't a give a the You're phone. such a liar, dude. A few weeks after I met Dylan, he went to jail for selling ecstasy. Three months later, he asked me to marry him. Babe! Mm. Heather's been amazing. Mm. She's borderline obsessive, but I don't know if I could have made it through this without her. I've been incarcerated for 12 years for armed robbery. Quaylen! <laughs> Quaylen is about to live with me in Kansas City. I really would prefer you live close to me. I told my mama I was going to come out there with her to Texas. Do you know how much money she spent on you, bro? This is not how it's supposed to go. My mom vibe says that your daughter is buying me. I ain't got to go out my way to make anybody else happy. Shonda was sentenced to three and a half years for selling drugs. She could be a sugar baby looking for a sugar daddy. That's all it is. <laughs> While I was in prison, there was like five or six other guys that I was talking to. That's two. I'll call you. I can see myself being married to Shonda. What's the next step? She got to go to the halfway house. Just be careful, man. Scott is my boyfriend. I've never met Lindsay in person. In the last few years, I would say Scott has sent me for around $15,000 to $20,000. Great news. I'm going home. I moved to Mississippi, got a house for her daughter, her and I, to live in. What the f this is not what I expected. I don't like to see you. Don't touch me. Maurice and I got married while he was in prison. They said you can't go to Vegas. Bro. I'm going to get up. No. You with me or are you against me? Maurice is violating his parole right now. You guys really aren't supposed to be here, right? No. Stay on that parole stuff. And while this is going on, she should come back here. I'm not going to put up with any Hell's going to come down if something happens. Yeah, man, so, you know, waiting on this road, man. Take too long, bro. This take too damn long. I need to hear what we're going to do. Guess what, though? It's here, bitch. <laughs> LA. I'm to Vegas, boy. You got it all? Yeah. Thank you for helping me. <laughs> oh, it feels stuff. good in here. So I finally got my travel pass from LA. Stayed at my mom's house, my cousin's house, my sister's house. Waiting for permission from my parole officer. <laughs> this is a soft ass bed right here. Need a bigger babe, though. <laughs> Those get your feet hanging off. <laughs> <laughs> Man, it feel good to be finally, like, in my own bed. You know, babe? Like, I can get naked right now if I want to and, and walk around. <laughs> Look, but I, I can. <laughs> you feel me? Like, don't come break on. the bed. <laughs> you can't do that nowhere else. Like, I'm home. Maurice has a monthly travel pass, so every month he has to go back, check in, and get a new pass to come back to Vegas, which is much better than having to stay in California. I mean, I'm extremely excited to finally have him home. Like, I've been waiting for this for four years. Mm -hmm. <laughs> oh, baby, <laughs> come on. Okay. Dry. Dry, come here. We have to. Come here. <laughs> we have to How can I focus? We, we home now. We pack. all this. This is what we've been waiting on. We probably been naked since we walked in the door. I have to tell you something. I've been feeling kind of nauseous lately. I'm three weeks late. Like, my period's three weeks late. Three weeks. Three weeks? <laughs> Hell no, are you just now telling me this? No, I don't know. Three <laughs> weeks? I don't want you to be, like, Get upset. I ain't gonna get upset. I do think that me and Maurice are ready to be parents. 
and I think right now is a good time. He's home, so if it is positive, it's gonna be a good thing. Let me see, you might be pregnant, baby. <laughs> I might be. You might be pregnant. Oh, we need no. to go get us a pregnancy machine or whatever. <laughs> pregnancy machine? A pregnancy what is that? test. We need oh, yeah. to go get one. <laughs> I have one. Okay, well, let's go. What are we waiting on? When I was in prison, it killed me to see my daughter grow up through pictures. That f me up, man. So my wife pregnant, it's gonna give me another chance to do everything the correct way. Hurry up and take this test, girl. Piss on the machine, please. I wanna see. No, stay right there. All right. But then again, I'm nervous, like, okay, I'll have to be on parole for like six months to a year. As far as getting a job, you know, being stable. I don't know, that's, that's a lot to think about right now. How long it take? A couple minutes. Why, are you nervous? I ain't got no patience. It's gonna come like this. If we're having a baby, I really, really want to be there financially this time. So I don't know if I'm for surely ready to be a father to a newborn baby. Here. Give it to me. Wait for it. So how you know if you're pregnant or not? It'll be two lines. I just hate leaving her and leaving in this situation with both of us upset like that. Who is that? Kelly. Give me a plane ticket home now. F you. You can have be with her and I do whatever. Be with Talk her. to her on a daily basis. No, I'm done, dude. I don't want to be with you, dude. Have her call you, you lie. No. I have to go to work and I'm just hoping that this little bit of time apart will help to ease things over and that she won't really leave, like she says. I am scared that Destiny's gonna break up with me now. I think if I would have never lied to Destiny in the beginning and I've been up front with her on everything, I, I, I think this whole thing would, would not be as bad. I just think if she understood Kelly and I's relationship, then she wouldn't have nothing to worry about. Hey, dude, it's starting a little bit late. I got in a huge fight with Destiny. She got mad because uh, Kelly called me. And so, but didn't so she know that's your baby mama? Yeah, but she just says it's disrespectful. I shouldn't be able, you know, to do that. So she hit me right here, and she punched me in the, right here in the mouth. <laughs> well, at least she didn't get stabbed, so I guess that's a plus, man. Maybe. I just hope everything's OK. I'm going to yeah. go back. No, you guys are still fighting. Like, when we left, she says, you can buy me a plane ticket right now. I'm leaving. Tell her I'm done with you. But if she what leaves, about... and I don't go to Sacramento like I'm supposed to do, I could be lose 50 grand. 50 grand if she doesn't go to court. If she doesn't go to court. But this is why I told you, they're already crazy to begin with, and you went and found one that's even crazier. Sooner or later, you won't be able to breathe, talk, or nothing, because she's going to whoop your ass. I still want to marry Destiny, because we got along so good, and for something like that, something as stupid as that, to ruin it, it just kind of, was, you know, really upset me. So what the hell happened anyways? I just don't like the fact that, like, he just thinks he can just talk to his baby's mom whenever he wants, like, that's out, dude. Yeah. Like, I don't want to be in a relationship with somebody that I, for one, I can't trust, for two, that just disrespects me. Like, life's too short. I got, I'm tired of wasting my life being locked up. Like, I'll be damned if I settle for a ass relationship, dude. I'm just not gonna do it. If I'm not happy, dude, I'm not doing it. I just, I don't like fighting with him, but at the same time, too, like, I'm really for real crazy. Like, I don't think that he gets a <laughs> I'm serious, dude. I'll him up. I feel betrayed. Like, I feel disrespected. I feel like he's always lying to me. But I have his credit card. I might just go do whatever the I want. You know, if you really feel like you need to go and you need to get out of there, which is the best interest for yourself, you know, you're always welcome to stay in California with your family. Other than today, it, it's been really good. Once the proposal comes out, once she thinks, I think that's what's going to take to settle her down. Because right now, she's out of control. So with you being hit in the face, and after all this happening today, you're still going to propose to her? I was going to. Oh, wow. So she needs a ring for her to settle down. I think that'll just change everything. Like, I'm hoping it's going to change everything. You could really think you could change her? I think I can. Destiny is a very jealous person. I think Destiny would feel better that she, if she met Kelly and realized that I'm not hiding you know, them from each other and that there's nothing going on. 
but Kelly and Destiny are both feisty, and I think they have the same personality, so they could they could be World War Five. I think that Destiny has a lot to lose. I think like, you got a lot to lose. Your job, your friends, your kids, your ex, your fifty thousand dollars. What does she have to lose? Don't miss the shocking conclusion of Love After Lockup. New episodes start next Friday at nine on WeTV.